Hey there, Sac Pasta. Welcome to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all a couple of our favorite recipes that we love and would be great to be made at home for Cinco de Mayo. So here's everything we're going to be needing to make our tacos and cheese dip. I will have everything linked down in the description box below. That way it's much easier for you guys instead of me just saying it along the way in the video. So first thing I'm gonna do is thinly slice our steak diagonally. If your steak already came pre-cut up and you bought it like that at the grocery market, then you can go ahead and skip this step. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them into thin, small slices. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut those pieces in half just because when you're eating tacos, you don't want really long or really thick pieces of steak. You want them to be just short enough and just long enough for the right amount of taco if you know what I mean so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that up now that our meat is sliced and we cleaned it with some vinegar and water we're gonna go ahead and season it up with a bunch of these goodies so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and add on is garlic salt next I'm gonna add a little bit of onion powder and after that we're gonna go ahead and top it off with some smoked paprika now I don't really like to use certain amount of measurements when it comes to seasoning I am Haitian so we do season heavy handedly so the last dry seasoning we're gonna be using is our Goya seasoning packet and once we get through with that we're gonna go ahead and add some of this taco skillet sauce on top of there just to give it a little bit of juice and flavor when it goes into the skillet. I love adding either jalapeno juice or something extra while I'm cooking my steak. Now that our steak is prepped, you're gonna wanna add two tablespoons of oil into your skillet, as well as one tablespoon of minced garlic, and you're gonna wanna have that heated up on a medium high temperature. Next, you're gonna throw in your steak and just start browning it real well and just let it sit there for a few minutes. Now I'm gonna get into shredding my cheese for the queso. Unfortunately, I had to use sliced cheese because that's all my grocery store had. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to slice this as thinly as possible as I can. But as you guys will see, it will be more of cheese crumbs than shredded cheese. But either way, it all is going to melt the same. So now we're gonna add one tablespoon of cornstarch into our cheese. And we're just gonna go ahead and mix that very well into all of the cheese. You wanna make sure you're fully coating all of your cheese within that cornstarch because that's just a really important step before we go ahead and start making our dip. Now that our steak's been cooking for about a good 10 to 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more of the skillet sauce into there just to go ahead and give it some more juice before I pull it out. So I was making this meal in a hurry today. I usually like to brown my steak a little bit more. So if you're a person like me that usually likes your steak a little bit more brown on the edges, you're gonna go ahead and wanna crank your volume up to high and cook it for about a good extra five to seven more minutes. But like I said, I was in a hurry on this day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull everything out and now we're gonna go ahead and make our cheese dip it is so good you guys and actually it's going to be an imitation of a cheese dip we have at one of our favorite restaurants so this will be my first attempt at making a cheese dip and I'm really excited but first thing first I'm gonna go ahead and cook the shrimp so I'm gonna go ahead and cook it in one tablespoon of butter and I added of course one tablespoon of minced garlic and on my shrimp I just seasoned it with some smoked paprika and onion powder and a little bit of garlic salt and now I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that skillet sauce onto there as well because it's actually made for shrimp but it made the steak taste so good in the same pot we're going to be making our queso so since this was my first time making queso I did watch a video prior I will have that link in the description but you're gonna want to use two tablespoons of butter one tablespoon of minced garlic and I used about two to three tablespoon of diced jalapenos just because I wanted to be spicy a little bit and now you're gonna go ahead and want to add one can of evaporated milk and this is actually the secret to making the queso amazing 
Now that you got your evaporated milk in there, you're gonna wanna warm it up for just a little bit. So you're gonna wanna put your stove on about a good four, four and a half, just enough to get it warmed up to melt your cheese. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our shredded cheese in from earlier. And you're gonna wanna put just enough to get that good queso consistency. So I did end up using all of my cheese. So probably about a good two, two and a half pound of cheese, I would say I would be using. And yeah, you're just gonna wanna mix everything up here a little bit so if you are using shredded cheese of course it's gonna melt a little bit better than my sliced cheese so I am gonna let this sit on the stove and simmer for about a good five to six minutes on about three three and a half and just leave the top on there while we wait for our queso to thicken up we're gonna go ahead and prepare our white corn tortillas for our tacos you're gonna want to cook them on medium high for about two minutes on each side but you guys I do tend to forget Get mine. So this is what your queso should look like when it's ready, really thick and creamy. So I'm gonna go ahead and load mine into my Pyrex dish cause I'm gonna bake mine on 350 for about 10 minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and load in my queso and in the top, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my steak and shrimp. So the real recipe at the restaurant we go to is actually steak, chicken and shrimp, but I didn't have chicken for the recipe. But if you guys do have chicken to throw in there, I highly recommend recommend it. So now we're gonna go ahead into dicing our onion for our tacos. So since my fiance Corey is a pro at dicing an onion, I just let him do this portion of the video and I'm just gonna go ahead and let the music play while he shows y'all how he dices an onion. And a fun fact, this is actually the perfect way to cut your onion if you want to make a bloomin' onion. So if you'd like to make something like that in the future, then you can definitely use this video as a reference for cutting your onion. I know that it's tedious taking the time to cut your onion like that perfectly, but as you guys can tell, it does make the perfect dice cubed onion if you do take the time to do it absolutely worth it. So now we're going to go ahead into cutting up our cilantro. Now I'm going to start making the tacos and first things first, of course, I'm going to go ahead and put our steak meat into the shells of our corn tortillas. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make the tacos. They're super simple and easy to make. The first thing I add is our diced onion from earlier as well as our cilantro. And then we're gonna go ahead and garnish the top with the green salsa and sliced jalapenos that I showed you guys earlier. And this just makes your tacos so good and so tasty. And this is kind of just of our take on the Mexican street tacos. Now that our queso is out of the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and garnish the top of it with some cilantro and green onion. I decided to leave the pico de gallo to the side of our chip platter I made for us just to give us a little bit more of that restaurant feel while we ate. So yeah guys, that was it for the video. Definitely don't forget to give it a big thumbs up on your way out, as well as hit the subscribe button and join my little YouTube family. I would love for you to join me. And I hope you guys have a great Cinco de Mayo today. Definitely don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know if you decided to try one of these recipes. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.